Good morning. Good morning. It's nice to see you today. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hi and welcome to Story Corner. I brought you down here to look at some of our animals today. Um, Daphne over there chewing. She is a donkey. Donkeys are known for being very strong pack animals. They can carry heavy things and they can pull heavy loads. Tony the pony over here, even though he's small, look how sturdy his legs are. Who do you think is stronger? Tony the pony, Daphne the donkey, or our little honeybee? Hmm, they all feature in today's story. Let's go see who's stronger, okay? of any other strong animals that might be here on the farm to help early Oz? How about the chickens or the roosters? They can fly. How about a horse? They're pretty strong. Hmm. In our story, we'll see which is the strongest animal to help early Oz, the bear. Burly Oz the Bear by Jan Brett and illustrated by Jan Brett as well. Zum, zum, buzz. Zum, zum, buzz. Burly Oz had been practicing for weeks and now just when the orchestra was going to play in the village for the gala ball, a strange buzz was coming from his bass. Oh, why now? Burly Oz said to himself. The musicians arrived with their instruments as Burly Oz watched them climb aboard the bandwagon. All he could think of was about the buzzing in his bass. What if his bass buzzed during the ball? What if the dancers stopped dancing and laughed at him? Zum, zum, bzzz. Zum, zum, bzzz, he imagined. Burly Oz picked up the reins and clucked to the mule. <coughs> Off they went down the road. He was so worried but that he didn't see a hole in the road ahead. Suddenly, the wagon lurched to a stop. The front wheel was stuck in the hole. The mule took one look back, sat down, and yawned. Oh dear, said Burly Oz, as he tried to get the mule to stand up and pull the bandwagon out of the hole. What can we do? We'll be late for the ball. I'll help you, said a rooster who was passing his way. I'll just tug on the rope and pull you out, he bragged. The rooster pulled and pulled, but the mule stayed put. A tabby cat who had been watching from the top of a fence spoke up smugly. This isn't a job for a featherweight, he purred. I'll do it for you and he took hold of the rope and pulled, but the mule wouldn't move. Oh my, said Burly Oz, at this rate, we'll never get to the ball on time. Everyone put on your concert tailcoat so we'll be ready to start as soon as we get there. Just then a schnauzer came trotting over the hill. He took one look at the cat and sniffed. Ah, oh, furball like you can't pull a wagon. Here, let me have that rope. He panted and pulled, but the wagon stayed in the hole. Burly Oz handed out the music. Everyone here, take your instruments and we'll start tuning up here. Along came a prancing billy goat. He looked at the schnauzer and snorted. Move over, squirt, and let me do it. I'll have this wagon out in no time. The billy goat strained forward, but to his surprise, he got nowhere. Burly Oz checked his pocket watch. There wasn't much time left. He was about to give up when he heard a new voice. Allow me, said a plow horse coming across the field. This will be easy. I spend my days pulling, but even the plow horse couldn't 
move the mule. Berlioz tugged at his ears. It was almost time for the ball to begin. He looked around and saw a large ox lumbering toward them. Everyone tune up. Here comes someone who can pull us out. You're saved, roars the ox. This poor plow horse means well, but I am only strong enough to pull a bandwagon full of musicians. He twisted the rope around his horns and gave a mighty tug. The animals held their breaths, but the mule wouldn't budge. The clock on the tower started to chime eight o'clock. Oh no! Berlioz shouted. In desperation, he pulled his bow across the strings, and to his dismay, he heard zum, zum, buzz, buzz. All the musician turned to look at the buzzing bass. Out of the bass shot a very angry bee. It had been disturbed once too often. The first thing it saw as it flew out the bass was the hindquarters of the mule. Bzzz. Sting! With one giant sting, the bee made the mule jump to his feet and pull the bandwagon of musicians out of the hole, down the road, and into the village square before the bells had stopped chiming. The audience roared, What an entrance! they cried, and the orchestra, already dressed and tuned, began to play. Zoom, 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 zoom. It was hard to say who had more fun at the ball, the musicians or the dancers, but Berlioz had never played better. Encore, encore, Berlioz. Berlioz came forward. Thank you all, and this evening I would like to dedicate our encore to the buzzing bee. And you see what they're playing? The flight of the bumblebee. That tiny little insect was strongest of all. Thanks for coming. See you next time.